talking with Assemblyman Hiken on Avenue J and E 16th Street where there are reports of a uh, possible uh, assault on another Jewish woman. Do you have any comments? Well, you know, it seems to be happening almost on a uh, daily basis. Uh, something happened uh, 24 hours ago. Uh, it seems to be ongoing. It's creating a lot of concern, a lot of fear on the part of people. You know, I, uh, I know when I walk with my wife down Ocean Parkway, suddenly I'm looking around anybody who's coming from my direction or in back of me. And I think a lot of people are doing that. They're concerned. I don't think people should be afraid. I don't want people to be afraid, but they should be aware, keep their eyes open. Uh, the, the unbelievable thing about these knockout attacks is that they happen so fast. Nobody's coming over to you to ask you for anything, to, to, to steal something from you, as bad as that is. We're talking about somebody just attacks you, physically assaults you, and disappears, which is uh, the kind of senseless, sick behavior, incomprehensible behavior, that I don't think any of us can, can fathom, any of us can understand what kind of human being would, would, would get some kind of pleasure out of attacking somebody, physically assaulting them, not taking anything. It's absolutely insane, it's crazy, and the authorities have to treat this very seriously. You know, uh, some people say, you know, these are young people, they're whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't care how young they are. We need to apprehend those people responsible for these attacks, because every time there's an attack, let's just remember that uh, it, it can result in very serious injury, it can result in death, and in fact, uh, it has in different parts of the country. So we need to take it very, very seriously. And, uh, w uh, you know, I got information about something that had happened uh, right here on Avenue J uh, uh, an hour or two ago. Uh, something did happen. We don't have all the information yet, but uh, whatever it is, people uh, are concerned. Okay, now from a legislative standpoint, when you go back to Albany, is this something uh, you'll speak to your colleagues about, about toughening up the laws of assault? It shouldn't be about calling it a game, calling this an assault is an assault. Well, well right now, the, you know, the laws are pretty tough. It's a question of the DA and the police dealing with this in a very serious fashion. Uh, so, yeah, we'll look at everything, and but again, it has to be looked upon in a very serious way. Greta Van Susteren from Fox National has taken this very, very seriously, what is going on, not only in New York, but nationwide, all of these attacks. So she's very concerned about this and is giving it the attention that it deserves. Uh, you know, this is not a figment of someone's imagination. Uh, talk to the people who have been physically attacked. You'll see how it has changed their life. Uh, you know, the 78-year-old woman that I convinced to go to the police who walked, you know, wasn't afraid to walk uh, here in Midwood, now will tell you that she's afraid. Now she's afraid to go out. Uh, which is very, very unfortunate. I don't want people to be afraid, uh, but you got to be aware. That's a smart thing to do because there are people out there who will go and do these horrible things. They don't, they, they don't say anything. They don't take anything. It's just absolute senseless physical violence against innocent people. And it could be a 78-year-old grandmother or it can be a 12-year-old. They don't care. They just don't care. It's, it's pretty sick. Now, uh, the security cameras, you're in favor of security cameras. Well, not only am I in favor of security cameras, uh, the cameras that I uh, uh, was uh, successful in getting from the state are actually going to be going up within a week or so, a week to 10 days, they're going to start putting them up. And just to point out, the woman on seven, uh, the 78-year-old woman, if those cameras had been up the day that she was attacked, we would have the perpetrator. So. It just shows you how important security cameras are because these kind of attacks, if they were, if these cameras were all over and they're going to be on Jay, they're going to be on Ocean Park, they're going to be in Borough Park, uh, would record these kind of acts. We would get the bad guys. Their pictures would be on television and we would apprehend them. And that's one of the most important things is to get those responsible. So what do you have to say to the groups and, and some media outlets that were attacking you? for getting security cameras in the neighborhood as if it's a crime. Well, I wasn't aware anybody was attacking me, but I think everybody knows that, that cameras are an extremely effective tool in fighting uh, crime. It's, it's, it's so obvious. As I said, East 5th Street, there was an attack. A security camera is planned for Ocean Parkway, a block away. Literally, it would have 
There would have been a video of that attacker as he was running towards Ocean Park. Just imagine that. We would have apprehended the animal who did that to a 78-year-old woman.